everyone, welcome back to part two of the Fiat 500 build and welcome back to the channel. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button and uh, if you like what you're seeing in the videos, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't seen part one, I'll link it up here um, now. Go and have a look at that. That's our delivery of the vehicle and our initial walk around on it. And in this episode, we're going to be rebuilding the front end. So enough talking, let's crack on. So I spent a bit of time looking online trying to find parts for the Fiat 500. Finally built up a list on eBay. Um, it's a bit of flicker on the screen. Uh, finally built up a list on eBay and then uh, literally just about to purchase all the individual parts and the entire front end came available. So we made a, about an hour and a half trip down the A1, uh, A14, M11 and uh, now we're about to load it up in the trusty C-Max. So back now at the unit with the parts that we picked up. Let's have a little look and see what we managed to get. So, replacement bonnet, this is actually one of the better ones I've seen. A lot of the ones that I've seen on eBay are dented and chipped. This has got like one or two little chips on the front, but it doesn't matter, they can be sorted out. Uh, we've got the wheel arch liners for both sides. Both front wings, but we only actually need the driver's side. So, that one's in very good condition as well. Um, and we'll sell that front bumper aside from being a bit dirty actually in really good condition there's no cracks only the occasional little chip here and there and then we've got both front headlights now these are a bit cloudy and a bit dull if you look at the one that's already on the car it's actually in really good condition so what I'm going to do is actually we can sand down the face of this headlight and then uh, polish it up and it will come up really really well and then the most important bit is the slam panel so we've got slam panel both the impact bars the lower one obviously in ours was trash so that's good that we've got that as well spare radiator which we won't need um, so I'll take that out and I say we'll sell that as well but it does actually also come with part of the subframe so if we have a problem with either of these on the Fiat we can swap those out as well so let's see what bits we can get fitted now without causing any impact to the bodywork repair so my plan is to replace this section it will give a good lineup then for when this section over here is um, that's going to be cut off brand new piece welded on and do that as well and then yeah it'll all line up so let's get on with the uh, throwing all the bits on there
Right, so that was a bit of hard work. Quite fiddly trying to get the radiator through the new slam panel, but it's all bolted up. Everything lines up as it should. So we've got no damage to the chassis legs by the looks of it, which is really good news. So all that's left to do now is fit the two headlights. Well, no, I can't fit that one, sorry, thinking about it, because that's damaged. Um, refit this headlight, tighten up the bolts at the top here, and then I will take the bonnet off and sort that out, because the scrap man's coming tomorrow to take away all the rubbish. Thanks to Nathan just giving a hand there putting the bonnet on. We've got a slight issue with alignment on that top corner and when you actually check underneath the actual part that's been impacted is raised slightly and we think that's kind of thrown it out but I will order another hinge for that side just to swap out and see if that has any effect on it whatsoever. But other than that, that's the front end bit put back together. So scrap is coming tomorrow, get rid of all the panels and everything that we don't need. And now I can move on to test fitting the bumper just to make sure everything kind of lines up with the reinforcement bar. And then we've just got to wait for it to go to the body shop. So I'm going to put the um, passenger side headlight back in now that we've got the frame in place for it there should be no issues with this being fitted I'm just going to try and get as many bits back on the car as I can before we take it over to the body shop for the rest of the repair um, I need to have a look at the suspension leg on here because we found those loose bits I need to check that's okay but I also need to fit the wheel arch liner to that side and then we might try and true up the bonnet sorry the bonnet, the bumper to get that back on there so the only element that will be left to fit is the wing after the structure has been repaired and the driver's headlight. to kneel down for this one so everything's in place ready for the bumper to go back on um, I'm just gonna dry test fit it uh, before we have the wing repaired and everything else just to make sure everything trues up and there's no like issues with alignment and also it'll look a lot better sat outside with the bumper back on so let's get it set up and get it set up get it back on the car um, there's basically four hex bolts at the top 
three bolts at the bottom and that's pretty much it and then obviously when the wheel arch liners go in it'll obviously bolt around here as well clip into that section there on this wing and then on the other wing when it's fitted it'll clip into the section on there as well so let's get this wing on this so let's get this bumper on So I still need to tighten up the three bolts underneath, just need to go and get my socket set to do that. But that looks so much better. So we know the alignment's slightly out on the bonnet on the driver's side, but obviously we need to get the wing on there to check all the alignment. But I'm really happy with that, from where it was to where it is now. Massive improvement. Just need to decide what wheels to get. Maybe you could guys comment in below and uh, kind of give me some hints and tips. I didn't really want to go with the standard lounge wheels because, well, you can see down there there's another one and they've all got those wheels. I wanted something a bit different, make it stand out. So yeah, any ideas on wheels, or anybody got any wheels that they're getting rid of, then comment down in the uh, below the YouTube video, and we'll go from there. So wing mirror turned up today. Nice replacement, body coloured cover. Let's get this fitted, nice and simple. dead simple to fit that literally got a plastic cover on the bottom of the wing mirror two bolts one here one there reconnect it another job done so as you can see I'm trying to get through to some of the smaller jobs now so the tail light needs replacing it's been cracked just around here so I've got a replacement in my stash of parts which are filling the car at the moment so let's get this bit swapped out it's just literally two screws by the looks of it that unit will come out disconnect it connect the new one in job done so that brings us to the end of the current episode on the Fiat 500 we've made great progress done a few little jobs like the wing mirror and the tail light we've got the whole front end now reassembled with the exception of that wing and uh, next step is it's going to the body shop next week get the structure repaired on there and then we can get the final bits of assembly done get the windscreen replaced 
Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, before I fitted the slam panel, I did actually go over that with uh, a wire wool, rubbed off all any sort of like surface rust and gave it a good coat of um, satin black. Bit of an Ed China special there for anyone who watches Wheeler Dealers or the old series of Wheeler Dealers. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the build. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you do like these videos, again, please hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so that every time I drop another video, you guys don't miss out on seeing the progress that we're making. And while this is all going on in the background, I am now thinking about our next project and what car we're gonna do next. So keep tuned, yeah, keep um, tuned in. And uh, thank you again for watching. Thanks very much.